5. Soils In the developing country like India, where agriculture is the predominant economic activity of the people, the soils play a significant role in determining man's economic, social and cultural progress. Great civilizations have almost invariably flourished on the good soils, the alluvium in particular. The soils endowed with a proper combination of texture, salts and humus yield good results to farming community and in turn to the national economy. Types and Distribution of Soils in India According to the simplest classification, there are four major soil types identified in India. They are alluvial soils, black cotton soils, red soils and literate soils. Besides these mountainous soils and desert soils are also classified as significant soil groups in the country. Soil Erosion During the rainy period when the soil cover is directly exposed to torrential rainfall and flash floods, the thin mantle of topsoil which is formed as a result of several centuries of natural weathering processes will be removed over large areas in the form of layer to layer which is called sheet erosion. If the erosion continues unchecked, numerous finger-shaped grooves may develop which is called rill erosion. If the erosion continues further, the rills may deepen and enlarge into gullies. Sheet erosion is common in the heavy rainfall areas of Siwaliks. Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, Assam and Northeastern parts of Peninsula. Rill erosion is prevalent in Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and in the semi-arid parts of Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Consequences of Soil Erosion Soil erosion, the quiet crisis not widely perceived but gradually unfolding as the gravest man-made disaster, has serious social and economic consequences. Desertification and heavy siltation of major reservoirs are the major consequences of soil erosion in the country. Soil Conservation Soil conservation includes all such measures and practices which help in protecting and safeguarding the soil from erosion. These methods include both small measures and extensive reclamation schemes such as counterbunding and terracing, construction of burns across gullies, furrowing, strip cropping, leveling of uneven land, raising of grass and other vegetation along the steep slopes, construction of check dams and diversion drains, afforestation, controlled grazing, etc.